Okay, um, welcome to level five. I'm just having a small rest here because I was so tired after the last set I couldn't get back up. No, only joking. Okay, level five is the exact same thing. It's a decline row, a pull up of your own body weight. Again, using the rings, but now you'll notice they're right next to each other. As soon as we go to close grip, we want to turn the rings at a 45 degree angle, like that. That's how you start. And also, I, I don't want to hang I don't want to hang with a, a, a long arm. I want to be on the ground, okay? So we simply grab like this, put our heels on a bench like that, use the bum to lift up, maintain a strong grip, and then just simply hover and then power up. As you power up, you twist the rings. Come back down again, touch. Your back's touching, the rings are touching, come back up again. Can you see me, Nick? Yes. Good. Touch and slowly come up. Now your legs should be relaxed. You want to do this for about 70 seconds. And at the end of 70 seconds, you've completed one set. At which point, sorry to hit by this. After 70 seconds, you've done one set, have 30 seconds of rest and and um, I repeat it again. Once you've done three of those and you can continue to do it, like if your pelvis is dropping and you look like a bit of a broken person, your core's not strong enough, your back's not uh, that strong enough yet. Your hands might be, but the rest of you's not. Well, stay there until you can do it. Okay, so don't progress until, until you can. Also, if you haven't done level three yet or level two or level one, what are you doing here? Go back, and that's why you probably can't do it. So. Let's develop the power first in level one, two, and three. And once you got that, you'll find you'll be able to do level four. So we're almost there now, up to level five.